Hey everyone, Patrick Gargano here from Learning Certifications, along with Hank Preston, also from Learning Certifications. And as promised, we're back to talk about the domains that make up the CCNA certification. And we're gonna start out with domain one. It's a great place to start out. <laughs> domain one is called Network Fundamentals. And as the entry point for Cisco certifications, it really is an important domain to dive into. Now, fundamentals is a pretty big thing. It's big. If we look at it, and hopefully you're looking at the blueprint as can we talk through this, right? There are 13 tasks involved and it can feel a bit overwhelming, but we don't want you to be overwhelmed, right? What's something to consider as people are looking at the, the fundamentals domain? Listen, it's the basics, right? So how does the network operate? What are the devices in the network and how do they come together to create that network, forwarding traffic throughout the network? Um, so like, as Hank is saying, it's, it's a big domain. It's worth 20% of the exam. And what I mean by that is you can expect in, your, in the questions that you get on the CCN exam, about 20% of them will come from this domain in, in, in particular. And I, there's a couple of areas that, that can be a little challenging here for, for folks that are new to networking. And I, I think the one that jumps out when I look at the list is the subnetting one, the IPv4, IPv6, and all the subnetting around that. Yeah, I mean, subnetting is an important skill for every network engineer. And that's why it shows up at the CCNA level. Now, there's not a ton of math involved in being a network engineer, but one of the key elements that you do have to understand is what binary is all about and how binary fits into IP addressing. Yeah. And so you're going to have to spend a little bit of time learning how IP addressing works, um, learning um, what eight bits mean and how to convert IP addresses from binary to decimal yeah. and then do those comparisons. So expect to spend a, a pretty significant amount of time becoming comfortable with that if that type of math is new for you. So as we said, Network Fundamentals kind of is our starting journey into the CCNA certification and the fundamentals that are there. Um, take the time, go through those elements. If you've got questions on a particular domain, check out the Learning Network. We've got community forums where experts like Patrick, myself, or other students like you are helping each other understand all the elements that are in there. So Network Fundamentals is your place in domain one to really dive into your journey as a network engineer. And you should also check out our CCNA prep program, uh, shameless plug. Uh, so the CLN um, program has a really cool CCNA prep program where we've got uh, videos, we've got um, Q&A, like questions, uh, PDFs, where you've got questions to test your knowledge, um, labs as well. So do check that out to, to practice your, your different skills for your CCNA exam. Absolutely. All right. Well, thank you for joining us for this discussion on Domain One Network Fundamentals for the CCNA. We'll see you in another, another video where we dive into all of the other domains that are out there.